Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Learn English with Podcast Conversation. Today, we're tackling a topic that's important not only for learning English, but also for so many aspects of life, building self-confidence. Confidence can make such a big difference in how we communicate, learn, and even in how we see ourselves. Absolutely, Jennifer, whether it's speaking English, starting a new job, or just meeting new people, confidence affects how we approach new situations. Today, we'll talk about practical ways to build and improve self-confidence one step at a time. Let's get started. Self-confidence is about trusting in your abilities. It's not about being perfect or knowing everything. Instead, it's about having faith in yourself to handle challenges and learn from mistakes. Self-confidence allows us to step outside our comfort zones, try new things, and grow. Exactly, Jennifer. Sometimes people confuse self-confidence with arrogance, but they're really different. Confidence is feeling secure in your skills, while arrogance is often about trying to appear better than others. Confidence means you believe in yourself without needing to prove anything. Right, and it's important to remember that self-confidence can be built up over time. We're not born with it, but rather it grows through experiences and the way we handle them, even small steps. Like trying something new, help boost our confidence bit by bit. Yes, confidence also comes from preparation. When you're prepared, you naturally feel more secure. For example, if you're preparing to speak English in a new setting, practicing key phrases or rehearsing can make a big difference in how confident you feel. Another thing is that self-confidence isn't about never feeling afraid or nervous. It's about acting in spite of those feelings. If you focus on your growth and progress instead of perfection, you'll start to notice your confidence building up over time. Exactly. Embracing mistakes as part of the process is key. When you allow yourself to make errors without fear, you're giving yourself permission to learn and grow, which builds genuine confidence. It's like learning to trust yourself little by little. So the first step in building self-confidence is understanding that it's a journey, not a destination. By staying focused on progress, preparing for challenges, and accepting mistakes as learning tools, we can develop a strong foundation for confidence. A powerful way to build self-confidence is through positive self-talk. This means encouraging yourself with kind words, just like you would for a friend. When you feel doubtful, try reminding yourself of things you've accomplished and strengths you have. Yes, Thomas, self-talk is a big part of how we see ourselves. If we constantly think, I'm not good enough, we'll feel unconfident. But if we start saying, I'm learning and I'm making progress, it creates a positive mindset. Changing how you speak to yourself can really boost confidence. Right. Positive self-talk can feel a bit strange at first, but it becomes more natural over time. You can start by writing down a few encouraging phrases, like I'm doing my best or I'm improving every day. Repeat these to yourself whenever you need a confidence boost. And don't forget to celebrate your achievements, even the small ones. If you tried something new today or made progress in an area, acknowledge it. Positive self-talk combined with celebrating achievements helps you see your growth, which is essential for building confidence. Another idea is to keep a confidence journal. Write down things you did well each day, no matter how small. This practice reinforces positive self-beliefs, and over time, it builds a sense of self-trust that grows into confidence. That's a great idea. Thomas, a confidence journal lets you see your progress on paper. When you look back, you'll notice how far you've come. These little reminders can be a huge confidence booster, especially on days when you feel uncertain. So, positive self-talk and a confidence journal are simple but effective practices. They help you stay motivated and focused on your strengths, which makes building confidence feel achievable. Another practical step in building confidence is setting small, achievable goals. When you accomplish even a small goal, you prove to yourself that you're capable. Each success, no matter how small, 
adds to your confidence. Exactly, Jennifer. Large goals can sometimes feel overwhelming, but small goals are easier to tackle. For example, if you're learning English, start with something manageable, like learning five new words a day. As you achieve these mini goals, your confidence will grow. It's also helpful to celebrate each step along the way. When you reach a goal, no matter how minor it might seem, recognize it. Confidence grows when we feel successful, and every small win adds up to create a stronger sense of self-belief. Right. Achieving small goals builds momentum. Once you feel confident completing smaller tasks, you'll be more motivated to tackle bigger ones. This step-by-step -step approach gives you the confidence to take on greater challenges over time. And remember, setting realistic goals is key. If a goal is too ambitious, it can lead to disappointment and discourage you. So start small, enjoy each success, and build up gradually. This approach makes the journey of building confidence enjoyable and sustainable. Yes, small goals also make the process feel manageable. They're achievable, and each one gives you a little boost. Over time, these small steps will make a big difference in how confident you feel in any area of life. To build true confidence, it's essential to embrace failure as a learning tool. Everyone makes mistakes, and no one succeeds perfectly the first time. Instead of seeing failure as negative, view it as a stepping stone toward improvement. Absolutely, Jennifer. When we fear failure, we hesitate to try new things, and that can hold us back. But if we look at failure as a way to learn and grow, it becomes something positive. Each mistake is a chance to get better. It's also important to remember that failure is part of everyone's journey. Even the most successful people have faced setbacks. When you accept failure as part of the process, you can focus on moving forward instead of dwelling on mistakes. Yes, Jennifer, each time you make a mistake, think about what you learned from it. Did it teach you a new approach? Did it make you more resilient? Recognizing the lessons in each setback can help turn failure into confidence-building moments. And this mindset allows you to approach new situations with less fear. When you know that failure is just another opportunity to grow, you'll feel more willing to step outside your comfort zone, which is where confidence truly grows. Exactly. Confidence isn't about avoiding failure. It's about learning from it and coming back stronger each time. Embracing failure as a tool for growth helps build a resilient and lasting self-confidence that stays with you in all areas of life. Self-care and mindfulness play significant roles in building confidence. When you take care of your physical and mental well-being, you naturally feel more balanced and grounded. Practices like exercise, meditation, or even just getting enough rest can improve your overall mindset and make you feel more secure in yourself. That's so true, Jennifer. When we're physically and mentally healthy, we're better equipped to face challenges. Self-care isn't just about pampering yourself. It's about creating a foundation where you can be your best self. If we're exhausted or stressed, it's much harder to feel confident and handle new situations with ease. And mindfulness helps us stay present in the moment. Often, a lack of confidence comes from worrying about what might go wrong or what others will think. When we practice mindfulness, we're focused on the present rather than future worries. This can make a huge difference in how we approach challenges with confidence. Mindfulness also helps in becoming aware of our inner critic. We all have that voice that sometimes tells us we're not good enough. Practicing mindfulness can help us recognize that voice and respond to it more positively. By acknowledging it without letting it control us, we gain more confidence in our abilities. Yes, Thomas, and simple practices like deep breathing, yoga, or spending time in nature can help us feel more connected and calm. This calmness then supports our self-confidence by reducing feelings of anxiety. A calm mind is much more confident and ready to tackle whatever comes its way. That's a great point. I also think self-care goes hand in hand with respecting our own limits. Sometimes we push ourselves too hard, thinking we need to do everything at once. 
Taking time to rest and recharge helps maintain balance, which is essential for steady and lasting confidence. Absolutely, self-care isn't selfish, it's necessary for building a strong, confident self. By making time for self-care and mindfulness, we're prioritizing our well-being, which helps us approach life with a positive and confident outlook. The people around us play a huge role in how confident we feel. When we're surrounded by supportive, encouraging people, it's easier to feel good about ourselves. Positive influences can uplift us, remind us of our strengths, and encourage us to reach our potential. Yes, Thomas, confidence can be contagious, in a way. When we spend time with people who are confident and supportive, their positivity rubs off on us. They don't have to be perfect either. Just having people who believe in us can be incredibly motivating and boost our confidence. And it's equally important to distance ourselves from negativity. Sometimes there are people who bring us down or make us doubt ourselves. While we can't always avoid negative people entirely, we can choose to limit their influence on us. Protecting our mindset helps us stay focused on building confidence. Exactly. Surrounding ourselves with people who lift us up gives us a safe space to try new things without fear of judgment. These are the people who celebrate our successes and encourage us when things don't go as planned. Having that kind of support makes all the difference. I also think it's helpful to seek out role models, people who demonstrate the qualities we want to develop. When we see others succeed, it reminds us that we can achieve similar goals. Role models give us inspiration, which can be very powerful in building confidence. Great point, Thomas. It's inspiring to see others succeed, but it's important to remember that everyone has their own journey. By focusing on our growth and surrounding ourselves with positive people, we build a network of encouragement that supports our confidence. So, by surrounding ourselves with positive influences and role models, we're actively building a strong, supportive environment. This environment helps reinforce our self-confidence, giving us the courage to take on challenges and continue growing. One of the best ways to build self-confidence is by stepping out of your comfort zone. When we try new things, even if they seem scary at first, we prove to ourselves that we're capable. This boosts our confidence because it shows us we can handle challenges and grow from them. Exactly. Jennifer, the comfort zone feels safe, but it doesn't encourage growth. Each time we try something new, whether it's a new hobby, meeting new people, or speaking up in a different language, we're expanding our skills and building resilience. The more we step out, the more we learn about what we're truly capable of. And it doesn't have to be something huge to make a difference. Small steps outside the comfort zone are powerful too. If you're nervous about speaking in front of others, start by practicing with a friend. Each little step builds confidence and prepares you for bigger challenges. That's right. Each step forward, no matter how small, proves to ourselves that we can do it. And even if things don't go perfectly, we've still tried, which is an achievement in itself. These little victories accumulate over time, creating a strong foundation for confidence. When we look back at all the times we stepped out of our comfort zone, we realize just how much we've grown. It's empowering to see that progress, and it motivates us to keep challenging ourselves. Confidence comes from knowing we've faced difficulties before and can do it again. Exactly, Jennifer. Each time we push our limits, our confidence grows. We stop doubting ourselves and start seeing potential where we once saw limitations. Stepping out of our comfort zone regularly makes us more adaptable, resilient, and confident in any situation. So make it a habit to challenge yourself a little each day. Whether it's speaking up, trying a new activity, or learning something new, each step outside your comfort zone is a step towards stronger confidence. A big part of building confidence is setting realistic, achievable goals. When we break our larger ambitions into smaller, manageable steps, it's less overwhelming, and each step forward feels like an accomplishment. Reaching even small goals can give us a sense of progress and success. Absolutely, Jennifer. Each small goal we accomplish adds up over time and reminds us of our abilities. 
Instead of focusing on what we haven't achieved, setting small goals allows us to celebrate the progress we make. This steady forward movement is what builds sustainable confidence one step at a time. It's also a great way to avoid burnout or feeling discouraged. When we set a massive goal without breaking it down, it can feel intimidating, which might even prevent us from starting. Smaller steps make it possible to stay motivated and focused, reinforcing confidence with each accomplishment. That's a key point, Jennifer. Celebrating small wins along the way is essential. Often, we're so focused on the final outcome that we overlook the effort and progress we're making. Recognizing those achievements, no matter how minor, boosts our confidence and keeps us motivated to reach the next milestone. And let's not forget that these small wins build a track record of success. When we look back, we can see how much we've grown and how each little step contributed to our journey. This reminder of our past achievements strengthens our belief in ourselves and our ability to tackle future challenges. Exactly. Each accomplishment, no matter how small, becomes a confidence booster. Over time, these small victories become part of our identity, helping us to trust our capabilities. It's amazing how a series of small wins can transform our mindset and increase our resilience. So, the key takeaway is to set realistic goals, take consistent steps, and celebrate each success. It's a positive cycle. Each win encourages us to take on the next challenge with greater confidence and motivation. One of the biggest barriers to confidence is the fear of failure. But when we start to see failure as a learning opportunity instead of a setback, we build resilience. Failure doesn't define as it's just a step in the process. Every mistake we make teaches us something valuable. That's an important point, Thomas. Everyone makes mistakes. It's how we respond to them that matters. When we treat failures as lessons, we become less afraid to try new things. Instead of fearing failure, we can embrace it as part of the journey, knowing it's helping us grow. Exactly. Each time we fail, we're gaining information about what works and what doesn't. This feedback is priceless because it helps us make better decisions in the future. When we view failure positively, it reduces our anxiety and allows us to take risks with confidence. And if you think about it, the people we admire most have all experienced failure. From athletes to successful business people, they've all faced setbacks but kept going. Their resilience and willingness to learn from mistakes are what made them successful, and we can apply the same approach to our lives. So true. Jennifer, by seeing failure as part of the growth process, we become more comfortable with trying and experimenting. This shift in mindset helps us take on new challenges without fear, which naturally strengthens our confidence. It's a powerful perspective to develop. In the end, building confidence isn't about being perfect, it's about being willing to try, to fail, and to learn. Each experience, whether it's a success or a failure, adds to our self-knowledge and equips us with tools to tackle the next challenge with confidence. Absolutely. When we can look at failure as just another step in our journey, we free ourselves from the fear that holds us back. With each lesson, our confidence becomes more solid and resilient, empowering us to move forward with assurance. Our inner dialogue has a powerful impact on our confidence. If we constantly doubt ourselves or focus on our flaws, it's easy to feel discouraged. Practicing positive self-talk and using affirmations can help shift our mindset and reinforce a more confident, supportive self-image. That's so true, Jennifer. When we remind ourselves of our strengths and achievements, we're actively building a positive foundation for confidence. Positive self-talk can counteract that inner critic we all have. Instead of letting negative thoughts control us, we can choose to focus on our abilities. Affirmations are also a great tool for this. By repeating positive statements about ourselves, we start to believe them. For example, saying, I am capable or I can handle this challenge may feel simple, but over time, these affirmations reinforce our belief in our abilities. Exactly. Positive self-talk is a habit that can transform how we see ourselves. 
Just as we encourage our friends, we should learn to encourage ourselves. When we treat ourselves kindly and focus on our strengths, we naturally feel more confident and ready to take on challenges. And the best part is, it's something we can practice daily. Whether it's in the morning or before a big event, taking a moment to affirm our strengths can set a positive tone for the day. It's a simple practice, but the impact on our confidence can be profound. Positive self-talk and affirmations are like training our minds to see the best in ourselves. Over time, this practice builds a resilient self-image. Instead of doubting ourselves, we're able to approach situations with assurance knowing that we're capable and prepared. So, by adopting positive self-talk, we're actively building a confident mindset. The way we speak to ourselves matters. With each positive thought, we're reinforcing a stronger, more self-assured version of ourselves. Our environment plays a significant role in shaping our confidence. Surrounding ourselves with supportive, positive people can make a world of difference. Friends, family, or mentors who believe in us can boost our self-belief, especially during times when we might be doubting ourselves. I agree, Jennifer. When we're around people who uplift us, it's easier to feel motivated and confident. Positive influences don't just encourage us, they also remind us of our strengths and push us to keep improving. On the other hand, being around negative influences can sap our energy and self-esteem. That's true, Thomas, and it's important to actively choose relationships that nurture our growth. It's okay to step back from those who consistently bring us down. We all deserve to be around people who inspire us to be the best versions of ourselves, and that positivity can really fuel our confidence. Absolutely. Positive influences help us see potential within ourselves that we might not notice on our own. When we receive encouragement from others, it's like a mirror reflecting back our strengths and that validation can be incredibly empowering. And it's also about learning from those who have a positive outlook. Observing how confident people handle challenges or setbacks can give us practical examples to follow. Their resilience and optimism can be contagious, making it easier for us to adopt similar mindsets in our own lives. Exactly, Jennifer. When we're surrounded by people who genuinely care about our growth, we're more likely to feel confident about taking risks and embracing opportunities. Their support becomes a foundation we can lean on, especially when we're pushing ourselves to step outside our comfort zones. So by choosing positive influences and cultivating supportive relationships, we're investing in our self-confidence. These connections act as a steady source of encouragement, reminding us of our potential and helping us to grow each day. One of the most effective ways to build self-confidence is through consistency. When we show up every day and put in effort, no matter how small, we're reinforcing our abilities. The more we commit to a goal, the more we believe in our capability to accomplish it. Consistency is powerful because it builds trust within ourselves. Every time we keep a promise or complete a task, we're proving to ourselves that we can follow through. Over time, these small acts accumulate, making us feel reliable and capable, which is key to growing our confidence. Exactly, Jennifer. It's easy to overlook the small, everyday actions, but they're what lay the foundation for self-confidence. When we see that we're capable of meeting our commitments, even if they're minor, we start believing in our ability to take on bigger challenges. And it's about not giving up when things get tough. Confidence isn't just built on easy successes. It's strengthened when we persist through challenges. Each time we push through a difficult moment, we're showing ourselves that we have resilience, and that's a huge confidence booster. Right. Consistency, even when faced with obstacles, builds a deep sense of self-assurance. It's a reminder that confidence isn't about being perfect, it's about showing up and trying. Each effort reinforces our trust in ourselves, helping us become more confident in our abilities. So, whether it's setting aside time each day for personal growth or committing to small, achievable goals, consistency is key. With every step forward, we're building a solid foundation of confidence that can support us through bigger challenges. Consistency really is the backbone of self-confidence. 
It reminds us that we're capable, that we're committed, and that we're growing. Each day we put in the effort, we're investing in our self-belief and proving to ourselves that we can accomplish what we set out to do dot dot. A critical part of building self-confidence is practicing self-compassion. We're often our own harshest critics, which can erode our confidence over time. But when we treat ourselves with kindness, especially during difficult moments, we create a nurturing inner environment for growth. Absolutely, Jennifer. Self-compassion isn't about ignoring mistakes, it's about acknowledging them without judgment. Instead of beating ourselves up, we can approach mistakes with understanding. This mindset helps us learn and move forward rather than getting stuck in self-doubt. And it's amazing how much more resilient we feel when we're gentle with ourselves. When we forgive our own imperfections, we're more likely to try new things without fearing failure. This inner kindness strengthens our confidence because we know that we won't be hard on ourselves if things don't go perfectly dot dot. Self-compassion also fosters a sense of self-acceptance, which is essential for confidence. When we accept ourselves fully, flaws and all, we stop comparing ourselves to others. Instead, we focus on our unique strengths, which allows us to grow confidently at our own pace. Yes. And it's about recognizing that growth is a journey, not a race. When we allow ourselves to make mistakes and learn from them, we become more open to new experiences. This openness and flexibility in our approach build a solid sense of self-confidence. Self-compassion allows us to be patient with ourselves as we grow. Instead of expecting perfection, we're giving ourselves room to learn, adapt, and improve. This understanding mindset empowers us to pursue our goals with confidence, knowing that setbacks are simply part of the process. So, by being kinder to ourselves, we're nurturing a deeper, more resilient form of confidence. It's about accepting that we're human, learning from every experience, and celebrating our progress along the way. Visualization is an incredible tool for boosting confidence. When we take time to picture ourselves succeeding, we're training our minds to believe in positive outcomes. This mental exercise not only prepares us for success, but also reduces anxiety by familiarizing us with situations that may otherwise feel intimidating. That's so true, Jennifer. Visualization can act as a rehearsal for our brains, allowing us to experience a sense of accomplishment before even taking action. When we repeatedly see ourselves succeeding, we start to believe in our capabilities, making it easier to approach challenges with a confident mindset. Exactly, Thomas, and it's important to visualize in vivid detail. Imagine not just the success itself, but also the steps it takes to get there like seeing yourself delivering a presentation confidently or handling a conversation smoothly. The more real we make it in our minds, the more comfortable we feel when the moment actually comes. I agree. Visualization helps us feel prepared, which is key for confidence. When we mentally rehearse how we'd handle a situation, we're less likely to feel thrown off if things get tough. Instead, we feel equipped and ready because we've already imagined navigating those moments successfully. And this practice is helpful beyond specific scenarios, too. Regularly visualizing ourselves as confident individuals can reinforce that identity in us. When we hold a strong, positive self-image, it naturally influences how we carry ourselves, speak, and interact with others, boosting confidence over time. Exactly. Visualization can help bridge the gap between where we are and where we want to be. By consistently picturing ourselves confident and capable, we make it more real and attainable. This process helps to eliminate self-doubt and replaces it with a sense of inner belief and readiness. So, visualization isn't just about imagining success. It's about cultivating a mindset that believes in that success. When we make this a regular practice, we're not only preparing for specific moments, but also building an overall sense of confidence in who we are and what we can achieve. One of the best ways to build confidence is by embracing new challenges. Each time we step out of our comfort zone, we're stretching our abilities and proving to ourselves that we can handle unfamiliar situations. 
Even if the outcome isn't perfect, the courage to try something new adds to our confidence. I couldn't agree more, Thomas. Taking on new challenges, no matter how small, shows us what we're capable of. It's in those moments of growth that we discover strengths we didn't realize we had. By facing challenges head on, we learn to trust ourselves more deeply, which is essential for confidence. And the beauty of challenging ourselves is that it gradually shifts our mindset. What once seemed daunting becomes something we feel more comfortable tackling. Each new experience builds on the last, creating a cycle of growth and self-assurance that reinforces our confidence every step of the way. Yes, and it's also about the mindset we bring to these challenges. Instead of seeing them as tests we must ace, we can view them as opportunities to learn and improve. When we let go of the pressure to be perfect, we give ourselves space to grow confidently, focusing on the journey rather than just the end result. Exactly, Jennifer, confidence is about progression, not perfection. By embracing challenges, we're setting ourselves up for gradual growth. Even if we don't get it right every time, each attempt builds resilience and teaches us something valuable. This growth-oriented mindset is key to strengthening our confidence. And sometimes, just the act of trying something new is a win in itself. When we remind ourselves that effort counts, we're less likely to fear failure. Instead, we view each challenge as a stepping stone, knowing that every attempt brings us closer to the confident person we aim to be. So, challenging ourselves is a continuous way to build confidence. With each new experience, we're expanding our capabilities, developing resilience, and reinforcing our self-belief. Embracing challenges doesn't just build confidence, it transforms us into someone who thrives on growth. Positive self-talk is another essential practice for building confidence. Our inner dialogue shapes how we see ourselves. When we replace critical thoughts with encouraging ones, we're cultivating a supportive mindset that believes in our potential and reinforces our confidence. Absolutely, Jennifer. Self-talk can either uplift us or hold us back. By consciously choosing kind and motivating words, we start to see ourselves in a more empowering light. Over time, these positive affirmations become a natural part of our thought process, helping us approach situations with confidence. And it's helpful to be specific in our self-talk. Instead of vague praise, remind yourself of specific strengths, like I handled that well or I'm good at problem solving. These tailored affirmations make our self-belief feel more genuine and grounded, boosting our confidence in a real way. That's a great point, Jennifer. When we highlight specific abilities, we're reinforcing a sense of capability within ourselves. Positive self-talk isn't just about general encouragement, it's about acknowledging our actual skills and achievements, which naturally strengthens our self-assurance. And positive self-talk can also help us reframe challenges. When we encounter setbacks, encouraging ourselves with thoughts like this is a learning opportunity or I can handle this shifts our perspective. Instead of feeling defeated, we approach obstacles with confidence and resilience. Exactly. Positive self-talk trains us to focus on our strengths rather than our insecurities. Each time we remind ourselves of our abilities, we're reinforcing our belief in ourselves, making it easier to face challenges with a confident mindset. This practice becomes a foundation of inner support. So, by nurturing a habit of positive self-talk, we're setting ourselves up for success. This practice transforms our inner dialogue into a source of encouragement, helping us to stay confident, focused, and motivated as we navigate different areas of life. Setting realistic, achievable goals is such a powerful way to build confidence. When we break down our big aspirations into smaller, attainable steps, we give ourselves a roadmap to success. Each time we accomplish one of these smaller goals, it reinforces our belief in what we can achieve, building momentum and self-assurance. Absolutely, Jennifer. Achievable goals give us something concrete to focus on and celebrate. They allow us to make steady progress without feeling overwhelmed. When we see consistent results from our efforts, no matter how small, our confidence grows naturally because we feel capable of reaching larger milestones. 
Yes, and these small wins are key to sustaining motivation. When we focus on gradual achievements, we're setting ourselves up for long-term confidence as each step forward becomes a reminder of our capabilities. It's a way to turn big challenges into manageable pieces that build us up rather than discourage us dot dot. Exactly, Jennifer, and these smaller goals teach us to be patient with our growth. Confidence doesn't come overnight, it's developed through steady progress and consistent effort. When we set achievable goals, we learn to value the journey as much as the destination, which is essential for self-confidence. I agree, Thomas. Another benefit is that achievable goals allow us to monitor our growth. When we look back and see all we've accomplished, it reinforces that feeling of capability. Each small goal reached is like a building block for confidence, making us more prepared for the bigger challenges. Yes, and setting achievable goals also helps us stay focused. When we're clear about what we're working towards and we see ourselves getting closer, it's easier to stay committed. This focus not only builds confidence, but also ensures that we're moving in the right direction, reinforcing our sense of purpose. So, by setting goals that we can realistically reach, we're creating a pathway to steady growth and self-assurance. Each small achievement helps us believe in ourselves a little more, proving that confidence is a journey of progress rather than an instant outcome. Self-compassion is another essential part of building confidence. When we treat ourselves with kindness and understanding, we're giving ourselves permission to learn and grow without fear of harsh self-judgment. This approach allows us to bounce back from setbacks and encourages resilience, which is key to self-confidence. Absolutely, Thomas. Self-compassion shifts our mindset from criticism to understanding. When we acknowledge that mistakes and struggles are part of everyone's journey, we're less likely to dwell on failures. Instead, we can focus on learning and improving, which naturally builds our confidence over time. And self-compassion teaches us to view challenges as growth opportunities rather than as negative reflections of ourselves. When we allow ourselves to be imperfect, we feel less pressure to get everything right. This mindset fosters a sense of inner peace, making it easier to approach situations with confidence. Yes, and it's also about building a supportive relationship with ourselves. Just as we would encourage a friend, we can remind ourselves of our strengths, potential, and progress. When we approach ourselves with empathy, we're more likely to take risks and push ourselves without fear, which is crucial for confidence. That's a great point. Jennifer, confidence often comes from knowing we have our own support, even if things don't go perfectly. Self-compassion creates a safety net for us to fall back on. This supportive mindset helps us recover from setbacks quickly, allowing us to continue pursuing our goals confidently. And self-compassion is a practice that strengthens over time. The more we exercise kindness toward ourselves, the more natural it becomes to believe in our worth and abilities. This ongoing practice of self-care and encouragement becomes a foundation for sustained confidence. So, by practicing self-compassion, we're creating an internal environment that nurtures confidence. This kindness helps us build resilience, encourages us to take on challenges, and reinforces a positive view of ourselves, all of which are essential for lasting self-confidence. I agree. Jennifer, small wins create positive reinforcement, encouraging us to keep moving forward. When we acknowledge our progress, no matter how small, it builds a strong foundation for confidence because we're validating our own efforts and growth along the way. And celebrating small wins makes the journey enjoyable. Confidence grows when we feel good about our path, not just the end goal. By taking time to recognize each step forward, we create a positive association with progress, making it easier to stay motivated and believe in ourselves. Dot, dot. That's right, Jennifer. Celebrating wins also reminds us of our capabilities. In moments of doubt, reflecting on past successes, even minor ones, can help us see how far we've come. This reflection builds confidence by showing us tangible proof of our growth and resilience. And it's amazing how small celebrations can energize us for the next step. 
Whether it's treating ourselves to something we enjoy or simply taking a moment to feel proud, these little celebrations boost our morale. Confidence isn't just about what we accomplish, it's about feeling good about who we are along the way. Exactly. Confidence is cumulative. Every small win adds to our self-belief. Over time, these little victories build a strong, unshakable confidence. So, by celebrating each accomplishment, we're reinforcing that sense of inner strength and capability, preparing ourselves for bigger challenges. So, by making time to celebrate small wins, we're nurturing our confidence journey. Each success, big or small, deserves recognition as it contributes to our overall sense of accomplishment and reinforces that we're moving in the right direction. A growth mindset is crucial for confidence. When we believe that our abilities can be developed through effort, we're more willing to take on challenges and learn from them. This mindset shifts our focus from I'm not good enough to I'm not there yet, but I can improve, which is empowering. Yes, Thomas, a growth mindset helps us embrace the learning process, knowing that we can grow and evolve over time. This approach makes setbacks feel temporary because we see them as steps in our development. Confidence becomes about trusting our ability to adapt and grow rather than about achieving perfection. And a growth mindset encourages us to view challenges as opportunities rather than threats. When we stop fearing mistakes and start seeing them as part of the learning journey, we become more resilient. This resilience is key for confidence because it builds our courage to keep trying even when things get tough. Exactly. With a growth mindset, we can celebrate our progress instead of worrying about our shortcomings. It's a reminder that we're always moving forward, no matter how small the steps. Confidence becomes about recognizing our potential and the effort we put in, not just about immediate results. And the more we adopt this mindset, the less intimidating new challenges feel. We start to see difficult tasks as chances to learn and grow. This perspective shift reduces fear and boosts our willingness to try new things, which naturally increases our confidence in the long run. Absolutely. A growth mindset fosters a positive self-image because we're no longer defined by our limitations. Instead, we see ourselves as capable learners open to improvement. This flexible way of thinking encourages us to keep pushing our boundaries, making confidence a continual journey of self-betterment. So, by adopting a growth mindset, we're building confidence that's rooted in our ability to learn and evolve. It allows us to face challenges with optimism and resilience, knowing that we can grow through them and emerge even stronger. Managing self-doubt is essential for building confidence. Self-doubt is natural, but it becomes harmful when it stops us from pursuing our goals. By recognizing and addressing our doubts, we prevent them from holding us back and can approach situations with a more positive outlook. That's true, Jennifer. Self-doubt often comes from our inner critic, which can be harsh and unrealistic. If we learn to question that voice and challenge negative thoughts, we can weaken its impact. Understanding that doubts are often unfounded allows us to move forward confidently. And reframing our doubts can help too, Instead of thinking, what if I fail? We can ask ourselves, what can I learn if things don't go as planned? This shift in thinking allows us to embrace situations with curiosity rather than fear, which is a powerful confidence booster. Absolutely, self-doubt can be an opportunity for growth if we handle it wisely. When we confront our doubts head-on, we often find that they're less significant than we thought. This practice strengthens our self-trust, reminding us that we're capable of handling challenges, even if we feel uncertain. And letting go of perfectionism helps too. When we stop expecting flawless outcomes, we're less likely to doubt ourselves. By accepting that things might not always go perfectly, we free ourselves from unrealistic pressure, making it easier to act confidently in any situation. Right. Jennifer, confidence isn't about eliminating doubt entirely. It's about learning to manage it effectively. When we recognize that doubts are just thoughts, not truths, we regain control. This understanding gives us the courage to move forward, even if we feel a bit uncertain. 
So by acknowledging and addressing self-doubt, we create space for confidence to grow. Doubt may still be present, but it no longer defines us. Instead, we focus on our strengths and our potential, allowing us to take action and believe in ourselves along the way. The people we surround ourselves with have a huge impact on our confidence. When we're around supportive, encouraging individuals, we feel empowered to be ourselves and take on new challenges. Positive influences remind us of our worth and potential, reinforcing our self-belief. That's so true, Thomas. Positive influences can act as a mirror, reflecting our strengths back to us. Friends, family, or mentors who believe in us can boost our confidence by reminding us of our capabilities, especially during times when we might doubt ourselves. And being around positive people helps us stay focused on our goals. When those around us encourage our progress, we're more likely to stay motivated. This support system not only boosts our confidence, but also provides a sense of accountability, pushing us to continue striving toward our ambitions. Absolutely. Positive influences also model confidence for us. When we see others believing in themselves and pursuing their goals, it inspires us to do the same. This influence reinforces the belief that we too can overcome challenges and succeed, making confidence a shared journey. Yes, and they provide honest feedback that helps us grow. Constructive criticism from people we trust allows us to improve without feeling judged. This kind of feedback helps us see our progress clearly and strengthens our self-belief by focusing on development rather than shortcomings. And surrounding ourselves with positive people also reduces negativity in our lives. When we minimize exposure to criticism and negativity, it's easier to stay confident and focused on our strengths. This positive environment supports our confidence, making it easier to pursue our goals. So, by surrounding ourselves with people who uplift and inspire us, we're creating a supportive foundation for our confidence. Positive influences remind us of our value and encourage us to keep growing, which is essential for building and maintaining self-assurance. Self-compassion is crucial for confidence. When we treat ourselves kindly, especially during challenging times, we build a solid foundation of self-trust. Self-compassion allows us to accept mistakes as a natural part of learning, helping us recover faster and maintain our confidence in our abilities. Yes, Jennifer, self-compassion isn't about excusing every mistake, but rather it's about understanding that we're all human. When we show ourselves understanding and patience, we make room for growth. This mindset keeps us from harshly judging ourselves, which is essential for sustaining confidence in the long run. And self-compassion helps us overcome setbacks. Instead of focusing on what went wrong, we can shift our attention to what we can learn. This gentle approach reminds us that every experience, even difficult ones, can contribute to our growth, ultimately making us more resilient and confident. Absolutely. Self-compassion builds resilience, which is the backbone of confidence. When we treat ourselves with kindness, we're more willing to take risks because we know that, regardless of the outcome, we won't be overly critical of ourselves. This creates a safety net that encourages us to step out of our comfort zones. Exactly, Thomas. And by practicing self-compassion, we also become more mindful. We start recognizing our achievements, big or small, and acknowledge our efforts. This mindfulness keeps us focused on our journey, rather than obsessing over perfection, which naturally nurtures our confidence. It's true. Self-compassion also improves our relationship with ourselves. When we appreciate our own efforts and extend kindness inward, we become more comfortable with who we are. This comfort translates to confidence because we're no longer seeking external validation but are instead grounded in self-acceptance. So by cultivating self-compassion, we're building confidence that's rooted in kindness and understanding. This approach allows us to face challenges without fear, knowing that we'll always support ourselves through the ups and downs of life. It's a powerful way to strengthen our inner resilience. Setting realistic goals plays a key role in building confidence. When our goals are achievable, we set ourselves up for success. 
Meeting small goals along the way helps us feel accomplished, and each success fuels our confidence for the next step, creating a steady path of self-improvement. Yes, realistic goals prevent us from feeling overwhelmed. When we aim for manageable targets, we're more likely to reach them, which keeps us motivated. This continuous cycle of achievement and motivation keeps us focused and makes us feel capable, strengthening our confidence over time. And realistic goals encourage us to celebrate progress rather than just outcomes. When we acknowledge each step we take, even if it's small, we build a sense of pride and self-worth. This pride reinforces our confidence and motivates us to keep moving forward, even when faced with bigger challenges. Absolutely, Thomas, setting realistic goals also helps us stay adaptable. When we break down our goals into smaller steps, we can adjust as needed without feeling like we've failed. This flexibility allows us to learn and grow at our own pace, which builds confidence by giving us control over our progress. And when we see our progress, it reinforces our belief in our abilities. Each goal we accomplish, no matter how small, serves as a reminder of what we're capable of achieving. This sense of accomplishment becomes a foundation for confidence, making us more willing to tackle bigger goals over time. Right. Setting realistic goals is about building momentum. With each goal we achieve, our confidence grows and we're encouraged to take on more ambitious challenges. This process keeps us moving forward, gradually pushing our boundaries while maintaining a strong sense of self-belief. So, by setting realistic, achievable goals, we're creating a sustainable path to confidence. This approach allows us to celebrate our progress, adapt when necessary, and build resilience. It's an empowering way to grow as each goal reached reminds us of our capabilities and fuels our belief in ourselves. Dot, dot. Visualization is a powerful tool for building confidence. By imagining ourselves succeeding in specific situations, we train our minds to expect positive outcomes. Visualizing success helps us prepare mentally and when the real moment arrives, we feel more confident because our mind has already seen us succeed. That's right, Jennifer. Visualization creates a mental rehearsal like an athlete preparing for a game. When we see ourselves performing well in our minds, it reduces anxiety and boosts self-assurance. This technique can be incredibly effective before presentations, exams, or any situation where confidence is key. And visualization works best when we're specific. If we imagine the details our body language, our tone of voice, the way we handle questions, our minds become familiar with the process. This familiarity reduces fear and makes us more confident and comfortable when we face the actual experience. Absolutely. Visualization also helps us set clear intentions. When we imagine ourselves handling situations with confidence, we're setting a positive expectation for ourselves. This expectation can guide our actions and decisions, helping us act confidently and stay focused on our goals. It's like building a mental blueprint. With visualization, we practice feeling confident, which translates into real confidence. By consistently imagining ourselves succeeding, we reinforce the belief that we're capable, and that belief naturally boosts our confidence in real-life situations. So, practicing visualization is a simple yet powerful way to enhance our self-confidence. It prepares our minds, reduces fear, and strengthens our self-belief. By visualizing success regularly, we make confidence a part of our mindset, which can significantly impact our actions and achievements. Well, that brings us to the end of today's episode. We hope these strategies for building self-confidence have inspired you to take small, meaningful steps toward feeling more self-assured every day. Remember, confidence isn't something you're born with. It's something you build over time through consistent effort. Absolutely, Jennifer. Confidence grows with practice, self-compassion, and a willingness to face life's challenges. We encourage everyone listening to try some of these techniques in your own life. Start with small changes and watch your confidence build over time as you trust yourself more. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you found this episode helpful, 
Don't forget to subscribe and share it with anyone who might benefit. We're here every week with new topics and tips to help you on your English learning journey. Yes, thank you for being here. Keep practicing, stay positive, and remember that confidence is within your reach. Take it one step at a time and you'll see the results. Until next time, keep growing and keep believing in yourself. Take care, everyone. We look forward to having you back next time. Goodbye. Goodbye and keep building that confidence.